VCU baseball is prepared for another season of spring excitement. Not only have some of the players changed, but so has the venue. Phil Karstetter has the story. VCU baseball will play its home games at the Diamond on the Boulevard for the 25th consecutive season, but this time around things look much different. Rams assistant coach Sean Stifler believes the diamond has changed for the better. You know, I think when fans come to the ballpark this year, it's going to be, you know, it's still going to have the same diamond look, but a completely different diamond feel to it. The luster of the diamond has been restored due to a $1.5 million facelift paid for by the new professional baseball franchise, the Flying Squirrels. Flying Squirrels media director John Laser knows the renovations benefit the baseball experience in Richmond. There's been advancements in sports since 1984 when the stadium came to be here in Richmond, so it's never going to be that, but at the same time it can be a phenomenal fan experience and that's what we plan to provide. In October 2009, the Diamond began its renovations by replacing the old aluminum bleachers with 3,200 new seats and a new infield. VCU baseball is optimistic about this year's season. They are just coming off their worst record in 15 years after being just 20 and 26 last season. Students believe the new look of the stadium should help this year's Rams. I think it could. Uh, I don't think there's enough word out about VCU's yeah. team. But um, yeah, if, it, if word gets out of the diamonds nicer than it used to be, definitely. I think it could definitely help. In addition to improved seating, the restoration of the diamond includes a new video board, a new warning track, remodeled luxury suites, and an entirely new office complex. Renovations both programs know VCU can use well, in the future. What, what it is and what it is for VCU is now a facility that they can be proud of, that their program can build off of, and I know that they're, that they're at a place where that'll certainly help. Stifler believes the relationship between VCU and the Flying Squirrels is a great sign for VCU athletics. I think, uh, you know, I think the futures never look brighter. They are a fan of VCU and VCU athletics in general. With a blend of young talent and experienced leadership, the Rams look to grab this season by the horns in their restored home field. For VCU Insight, Phil Karstetter. The Rams will play 27 games at the Diamond this season, opening up on February 23rd against Liberty University.